So part of the CIS 2.8 release, we have implemented a new deployment option. Now this deployment option is very specific and it's very specific to the VMware Antrea CNI. However, we are receiving quite a few customers engaging or communicating or saying that they want to start to use this Antrea agent. And so what we've done is we've added node port local as a third deployment option. So the two previous deployment options were cluster IP, that's big IP directly to pod, node port, that's big IP directly to node or via kube proxy. And now the introduction of node port local, and as you can see, from the documentation, CIS consumes node port local and maps that to the Antria agent. And in the demo that you're going to see, we kind of go through the configurations and kind of what it looks like. And my colleague Lavania from product development explains a little bit more about what the pool member is and kind of how the traffic pattern is working. So I don't want to go into that too much because I'm going to leave it for, for Lavanya. But what's, what's really important here is that unlike node port, where if I scroll up to node port, you are communicating directly to and via kube proxy. With the node port local using the Antrea agent, we bypass the kube proxy and route the traffic directly to the pod using the information that we have. So this information is new. This is part of the CIS 2.8 release. So please go ahead and test it. Fully documented, fully supported, and now available on GitHub. Let's take a look quickly at the VMware Tanzu node port local configuration. And again, I'm not going to go into it too much because Lavanya is going to demo it in this video. So as you can see from the documentation on Cloud Docs, you can see here the VMware Tanzu piece. And so this just talks a little bit about the overview, kind of where it's come from, um, and that information, etc. So there's not a lot that we have to do here on the configuration of, of Big IP, which is which is actually quite nice. So it's a little bit more simpler, I think, than CNI integration using something like VXLAN or you know Calico from a BGP perspective, because there there's a little bit more configuration. But really what's required is the Antria agent config map. This is something that would be there in Kubernetes already by setting up the entry agent. Now, what's interesting here is that we tested with, at the time, the latest 1.4, and I believe that 1.5 might be out or is, might be coming out. Um, we shouldn't have any problems. Test it. If you have problems, let us know, and we can validate it, um, etc. So this would be configured as the config map. This is something that's configured in Kubernetes. It's kind of outside the scope of F5. Um, what's what the only difference is, and Lavanya shows us in the demo, is in the CIS as an argument, change node port local. This is a CIS argument. You could actually see the deployment manifest right here. So that's the one item that you need to do. And the second item is change the annotation. So those are the only two items that you would have to do. CIS will work like it has been in the past. The only difference here is it now supports this third deployment option of node port local. And that is ultimately it. You could actually see here that here is the description of this pod. And you can see from the description of the pod, you can actually see the annotation getting added here. Take a look. There are a few uh, limitations. They're being documented here. If you want any more information, please reach out to us. You can reach out to me via this video. Enjoy the demo and have a lovely day. Hi all, this demo is for NodePort Local Mode introduced in CIS to support Andrea CNI's NodePort Local feature. So NodePort Local feature is introduced to address certain drawbacks on 
with the Q-proxy's node port, node port mode. So unlike Q-proxy's node port mode, where the port is, uh, like port is exposed on all the uh, nodes of the cluster, in node port local, only uh, the port is exposed on the node where the pod is running. So it uh, decreases the uh, port requirements and uh, where the port needs to be exposed on firewall and everything. And also it removes like secondary hop of load balancing that is done by Q proxy in node port mode. So, so Lavanya, question for you. So with node port local, we don't connect, we, we don't connect directly to Q proxy, we bypass Q proxy, correct? That's right. Yeah. If I can show you an example, like diagram, uh, okay. like in node port mode, when, when we expose the pool members on the big IP, first it goes to the Q proxy and then it uh, load balance to the specific node where uh, the pool member is present. Now in node port local, since the pod is exposed only on the node where it is running, the pool member is directly, uh, it directly goes to the node where it is exposed. Uh, based on IP table rules, it will forward the traffic to the pod backend. So it bypasses the Q proxy here. So does big IP, so big IP's pool members, we're going to see in a demo, big IP's pool members will be still the, 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 the IP address of the node, not the IP address of the pod. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. We'll, see, we'll, we'll, we'll see that in the demo. Okay. So Coming to the CIS configuration, first of all, uh, we have introduced a new mode called node port local mode. So in pool member type, you need to set the uh, uh, option as node port local. Uh, remember, this is only supported with Andrea CNI's node port local feature. So this node port local argument is supported only when the clusters are enabled with Andrea CNI. So this is the configuration change required. Okay. So coming to the deployment, I have a sample deployment, a hello world deployment here. Let me deploy it. Namespace, I, I can give CIS namespace. Um, and then coming to the service, we need to add this annotation node port local Andrea enable true so that Andrea isn't uh, looks for this annotation and based on this annotation, it will annotate the like the node port IP, node IP and port information on the pods matching this selector. Uh, let me create this service and show you how it affects. Uh, so we, 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 we always use just cluster IP there, right? But the most important thing is the annotation, right? Yes, uh, the type is still cluster IP. If it is a node port, uh, uh, this node port local uh, mode is not uh, uh, like implemented. Okay. Only when it is cluster IP and the annotation is present, then the Andrea agent will annotate the pods. So the service is created. Uh, let's check uh, all the pods that are matching this uh, selector of the service. So these are the two pods that are matching. Uh, this is the annotation that is added on the pod. Uh, if you can see, this is the port where the application is exposed, pod uh, 8080. It is reachable through this node IP in the, in the specific node port where, it's, where it is exposed. Let me create a sample virtual server and show the big IP configuration. This is the virtual server I have, uh, pointing to the uh, service we have just created. Let's see the big IP line. It is posted. Let's see the big IP configuration. So this is a virtual server that is created. We can check the pool members. So these are the two replicas of the FI Hello World. And they, the node port uh, and node IP is added as a pool members. Uh, so uh, this is the deployment. Uh, let me change, remove the custom resource mode.
the same like the same service and deployment are there in my project uh, let me use the same service to deploy some ingress so this is the sample ingress i have pointing to the uh, service if i hello world Let me just post it. Let's try to get the So it is TLS ingress. So we have two virtual servers created. We can check the pool. The same, like the same node IP and ports will be added because backend ports are same. Very nice. 